Welcome to Speak Life. Today, I am calling all my brothers and sisters to take up residence at Jesus' feet. Let me say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for the Holy Spirit to guide every word that comes out of my mouth. I ask for every listener that hears this message to be touched by your Holy Spirit, to be strengthened, to be healed. I pray for lives to be changed and hearts to be softened in Jesus' name. Amen. Because of the coronavirus, many are on lockdown, restricted to their homes. Brothers and sisters, This is not the time to grow weary. This is the time for the church to shine. It is time for us to understand the power in prayer, unity, and repentance. I urge you, for such a time like this, to draw closer to our Heavenly Father, to rest in His presence and to truly get to know God in a more intimate relationship. It is written in Genesis 50, 20. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. What the devil meant to harm God will turn this into something so beautiful. There is a harvest at hand. 2 Chronicles 7.14 is burning in my spirit now for weeks. I want to read this scripture to you. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. I want to point out that the Lord says, If my people shall humble themselves. The word if is a conditional clause. I want all of us to understand that uh, if we do not do what God asks us to do, we have no right to expect the promises or blessings to come our way. The Lord is crying, crying out for His children to come and seek His face. I urge you, brothers and sisters, let's not just be hearers of the word, But let us be doers of the word. Let us, the church, arise for such a time like this. Matthew 6.33 But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Again it says, Seek ye first. And if we first seek the kingdom of God, then all these things shall be added unto us. We can't expect breakthrough if we don't obey God's commandment. We can no longer allow ourselves to remove words from the Bible and expect the blessings. We have to either believe all the Bible, the whole gospel, or not at all. Revelation 22.19 And if any man shall take away from the word of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. This scripture brings me to my knees every time, and I believe that this is the season that God wants us exactly there, on our knees, with a humble and contrite heart. 
God wants to bless his children, Jesus took upon himself all our sins and sicknesses, along with our guilt and shame, so we could be made right with God. He freely gave us the gift of salvation, granted us his righteousness, freed us from eternal death, and assured us of an eternal life with him. If you are ready to fully surrender to the Lord, to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, I am asking you to say this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We, your people, who are called by your name, come before you with a humble and contrite heart. We seek your face, Lord. We lay down all our motives, all our intentions, all our thoughts, we don't want our ways. We want your ways. Every selfish desire that we seek to receive from you, we choose to lay it all on the altar right now. God, all we want is you. We want to love you and minister to you. You are more precious than your promises to us. You are more magnificent than all your manifestations. You are more miraculous than all the miracles. God, we want to make a home inside your heart and lay at your feet. You are our maker and we seek you in the secret place. We know, God, that we can never go outside from you to receive something from you. And right now, by faith, because it is written in 1 John 1 9, if we confess our sins, you, God, are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to forgive us of all our sins, known and unknown, but especially the sin of taking you, God Almighty, for granted especially for not making you, God Almighty, first in our life. Oh, forgive us, God, how we need your forgiveness. You know all of us, God. You know our hearts and what still needs to be transformed or removed within us. We ask you to transform us, to deliver us while we are in your presence. For we know that the secret place is the only place of transformation. May our prayer be set before you like incense. 
May the lifting up of our hands be like the evening sacrifice. This is our prayer. Jesus, we allow you to walk your life through us. Burn everything out of us that is a hindrance to our walk with you. Holy Spirit, we give you free reign. Purify us and make us ready for your coming. Make us white as snow. We choose to get out of your way. Holy fire, fall upon us now. We yield to you. Burn everything out of us that is not holy. Holy Spirit, fire, fall. Fill us with more of you. We seek to be with you. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and fire to overflow. Overflow like rivers of living water. Remove the veil so we can see and reflect the glory of you, Lord. Change us more and more into your glorious image. Holy Spirit, do your work within us. Thank you, God, for hearing from heaven and forgiving our sins. Thank you for healing our land. Thank you that your promises are yes and amen. Thank you that you, Lord, cause our enemies who rise up against us to be defeated before us. They will come out against us one way and will flee before us seven ways. We thank you that our enemies are fleeing. For in your presence, we are untouchable. You are our refuge. You are our God in whom we trust. You save us from deadly pestilence. And we are covered under your feathers. And under your wings we find refuge. Thank you, Lord, that no disaster will come near our tent, for you have commanded angels to guard us in all our ways. They will not let us fall into a trap. We lift up the sword of the Spirit and sever the enemy right now in Jesus name we pray that we come out this prayer a new creature resurrected with Christ let us be holy as you are holy we bleed the blood of Jesus over us and our household. We seal this prayer and we declare and decree it done in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 3 John 1-2 Beloved, 
I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Be blessed.